I just got off work literally like 30 minutes ago. I just got dropped off by the bus and I have about 10 minutes before I had to go and meet with this guy that I met and I'm so exhausted. Today was a long day and tomorrow is going to be even longer, but I hate canceling plans. So I'm just going to go. But I was talking to my friend about this yesterday. I have been either hanging out with a friend or going to meet new people every day. Like I have been here for about two weeks now and I have yet to stay in the, my apartment the whole day or like after work. I have yet to just come home after work and just stay. I usually just come home go to the bathroom or something and then I will leave. So I realized that like, when I first found out that I was gonna be moving here and living alone, like I was kind of scared because I'm a person, I'm an extrovert. So I get lonely really fast. So I think subconsciously I'm making plans. Like I'm not doing it on purpose, but I think subconsciously my body's like, oh no, you can't just stay here. No, you have to go out. You have to meet people. You have to explore Korea. Anything but staying in your small shoebox apartment, you know? So I think that's what's happening. <coughs> Ew. Anyway, I need to figure out how to just sit and relax because I feel like I'm going to burn out and that's not what I want. So yeah. Wait, hello. I'm trying new angles because I don't have much to work with here, but I need it to be there to be some scenery when I speak. Okay, so this is my kitchen slash laundry room. How do you like it? I probably won't show you guys my apartment ever, okay? Like fully until I get it together. So until then, you just see bits and pieces, but I guess but eventually you guys will just kind of figure it out, you know? So um, there will be no solo apartment tour for me until, okay. You got until I feel like you guys will be excited to see it, okay? Because right now it's un very underwhelming, and uh, yeah, <gasps> we're just not going to do that anyway. So, yeah, so today I have a lot of free time, and it's only 5 30 p.m. So, and I don't have plans to hang out with my friends. This is the first day that I have no plans to hang out with my friends. So, I'm going to go to the police station and I'm going to report my wallet, guys. I called you guys because I let I lost my wallet. What? <laughs> yeah and i'm going to report my wallet because everyone everyone i tell keeps asking me that i go to the police and you know as a black girl from america it's not the first option or second or third or fifth or anything like that so but here is different clearly so um they said the koreans they they do return the wallet so if it was stolen or if i left it somewhere it is always returned uh, always but it is returned so my hopes are kind of high i'm vlogging this just to see if i find it but i'm i'm hopeful so i'm going to just go to the police station i'll see what they say hope they can speak english because i don't know how to say i lost my wallet and i don't know where it is and blah 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 to them so we'll see i hope they're nice obviously i can't vlog and i can't show everything like this with a camera like hi my name is bria and i lost my wallet hi my name is bria and i lost my wallet you know like i can't vlog it but i will try to you know on a download, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, get my neck. I don't know why I always record myself speaking Korean and I just, my, <laughs> the camera just goes right here. Okay, like right here on the neck. I'm so sorry, guys. I would try to discreetly record myself when speaking to people better, okay? So, stay tuned. Okay, so I finally left the house. I had to the police station. It's a 16 minute walk. I don't really know why exactly it's a 16 minute walk. I mean, Everything is closed. They couldn't put a bus station next to the police station. Why, hello. This is editing Bria coming at you. So, I didn't know, but you can't hear anything that I'm saying. So, I'm just going to paraphrase really quickly. It took 16 minutes to watch at the police station. And I was really annoyed because everything in Seoul is so close. So, I was just like, the one thing that should be, like, actually close is, is almost 20 minutes away. Like, make it make sense, you know? Do you want us to be safe or not? Hello. Uh, 
아, 어, 어른 저. 네, 여기 계단 올라가셔서 네. 뒤에 건물 뭐 1층 가시면 돼요. 1층? 네. 아, 네. 감사합니다. 네. Okay. I'm so sorry. There's no light here, but you heard that, and I'm doing well. He said to go upstairs and go to the first floor. Why is there no light? Okay, honestly, that was a complete disaster. Uh, we didn't know any English, and I didn't know the Korean. I knew this was gonna happen, but he really tried so hard. I'm um, he, he he seemed stressed. I kept going, oh sorry. He's like, no no no, it's okay. So so I felt not like a burden. Uh, he helps me as much as he could. He he explained to me step by step how to fill out the form. He stood there next to me and, and we just had tried to he tried to say it in Korean and he just eventually just kept saying, Okay, you write it in English, it's fine, just write it in English. And so he was like, Okay. Here you write your number. Okay, he's like, uh, number. Okay, and then he's like, uh, uh, name. It's okay, uh, date. He just kept saying that, like, okay, write that, write that. So he was nice, but after that, I think it's a lost cause. I just don't have the confidence anymore. He's like, there's also a website, people post lost things. So, uh, go there. So, um, We'll just see what happens. I heard that if, if the police find your stuff and you, you, they have your address, they will just mail it to you. And then you will just see your, I will see my wallet in my mailbox. So every day I will try, I will check my mailbox to see if some good Samaritan returned it. But I don't think it's gonna happen, but I'll keep you guys updated if it comes. If I don't say anything, that means I don't have it. So. At least I tried. Now I'm walking 16 minutes back to the subway. Do you hear that? I found a Northern Bomb because it's my favorite. So I'm going to sing my blues away. Yes, I'm spending money when I lost my wallet. But luckily, it's not that expensive. Only a dollar. So get ready for my boys. Okay, now I did not explain this in the video, but not only was I at the karaoke, I will use any excuse in the book to go to the karaoke, okay? I will literally be there. I'm literally there once a day. If I don't go in one day, then I stay longer the next day. I, I go there when I'm happy. I go there to practice my Korean reading skills. I will literally even stay if I feel like someone's getting murdered next to me. And I like to listen to everyone else sing beautiful notes. And I will literally go there to sing the exact same song every time.
today I'm headed to the bank. I'm going to try to make a bank account um, because I have no money. I am going to try to make sure that I am not poor for so long. Usually the banks are not open on Sundays and everyone keeps telling me they're closed, but Google said they were open, okay? And also my co-teacher said they were open too. So I'm gonna go. It takes 30 minutes to get there. I'm gonna go and see if the bank is actually open. Hopefully I can get an account. If not, then I'm just a big clown, okay? Because everyone's telling me it's closed. But you know what? I'm gonna prove them wrong. I'm gonna show them, okay, that Google never lies. Okay, I'm here at the bank. So let's see if they're open. It was an ATM. I thought I should listen to students when they speak because they know what they're talking about. So I just came all the way here, 30 minutes before it should be an ATM. <sighs> I'm a clown, draw the clown face. A few inches later, Okay, so I forgot that quickly that I have somewhere to be by 1 p.m. It is 12.05, okay? So I have to put on my makeup because I have to get my passport photos done. So you about to see the transition. It's gonna take 10 minutes, okay? But watch this. Look, all right, now I'm ready to go. So let's go. I'm finally here. I'm like super late, but she was really nice. So let me just go and uh, I'll get some of these. So I'm gonna go and take my picture. So. Okay, so I just finished at the studio and okay, so I knew that they were gonna edit my pictures, but I didn't know that they were gonna edit them right in front of my face. She showed me all my pictures and she was like, okay, choose the picture that you want. So I chose it and she said, okay, sit here right next to me. And then she edited my photo right there i mean everything she like made my head bigger my face smaller uh she just fixed like she just just literally photoshopped me right in front of my face it was very interesting but this is what they look like look at this see so she did a really good job you know i'll show you a clearer picture later but everyone's looking at me because i'm obviously on the phone but i'm so excited i got my passport photos and they look so good and now i'm headed to my to meet my friend Hunter in Myeongdong, so I'll keep you updated. So I got to leave school early, woo! I feel like I'm going on a field trip. I have my coffee that my co-teacher bought me. They're so nice, but that is beside the point. I'm on my way to register for my alien registration card. Yeah, there it is. So, um, I need an alien registration card because I'm an alien, obviously. So, I will be registering today. The times to register were so little. So, even though I've been here for over a month, I finally got a spot today. Why, hello, this is Bria editing day number two. Did you think that this was gonna take one day to edit this is a whole production okay anyways should have explained this earlier in the video but the alien registration card it is my key to success in korea as a foreigner you needed to open a bank account get a cell phone plan you needed to do anything online like order delivery or order order clothes or um say i wanted to make a reservation online they're gonna ask for my alien registration number um sometimes when you go to restaurants they'll ask you for your alien registration card i don't know why like yesterday me and my friend decided to get sushi and they were like do you have your alien registration card and we were like no and they were like well we can't accept foreigners who don't have the card and i'm like but why 
you then you also need it for uh to get a credit card if you want one here you need to get wi-fi if you want wi-fi or internet you need a alien registration number um if you want to get a medical insurance plan you need it you know you need it to really just be a person here so um that is what i've been working towards this whole month okay it was not been easy but you know guys and as of now me editing this i still do not have it but it is coming okay so i finally got my i registered for my arc which is great but now i have to rush home because i forgot that i was looking for dance studios which i will make in another video but i found one today so i'm gonna go tonight but i am um, before i go home i got my kimbap i literally go to the same place so finally the old lady recognized me she's like oh you come here a lot and i was like i, I just like kimbap <laughs> so I really wanted a place where I could go to a lot, you know, like a local. So I think this is my place, the Kimbap place. So I said, oh, I'll come again. She said, okay, bye. So hopefully, you know, I make a friend, an old lady friend. So as you guys can see, I've been very busy trying to settle here as a foreigner in Korea. It's a lot of work, but I'm having fun through the process. I think it's funny that I started the video saying that I needed to rest more and sit more, but have I done that once? No. I'm still trying to do things like look up dance studios now, which I will happily make a video about. But I know that I've been working hard, so I rewarded myself by taking myself out on a nice, lovely, fancy date. I had Indian curry and it was very lovely, and I think I will date myself more often. But anyway, that is the end of this video. Please like and comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.